welcome. We are so thrilled to be here today. And we don't know where we're going to show up on your screen. So we could be on LinkedIn. We could be in your new, in your email. We could be on Instagram or Facebook. But somewhere you're hearing us and you're seeing us. And we're excited to be able to share with you our next co-host for our very first event coming up next Thursday. So before I do that, before I introduce you to this lovely woman beside me, I would like to introduce myself. I am Lisa Harris, and I am an author, a storyteller, a narrative coach, and the CEO and founder of Lisa Harrison Company. Here at Lisa Harrison Company, we are a personal development business that connects, guides, and transforms women's lives through the power of storytelling. And we're thrilled because this fall, we are relaunching our Unveiled Beauty Holding Hands online series. And this was actually created back in 2020 when everybody was starting to do online events. We really wanted to bring women together in an intimate space so that they could connect, comfort, and share all the things that were happening in the world that they were experiencing at that moment. And we all know what that world was. But we are continuing with this online series because a great place for us to be able to reach women across the country. So we do have in-person events here in the beautiful Minneapolis area, but we also have this online series so we can reach more women. And we're thrilled because our very first event is called Motherhood from Birth to Infinity. And this incredible group of five co-hosts have come together and have nailed a really powerful theme. And I'll, I'll have Amy give you um, a little bit about that, but let me introduce you to Miss Amy Hallberg. And I will let her tell you about herself and how we got to know each other and what she does and what she's going to bring to this amazing event. Oh, wow. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. That's, um, it's such an, okay. So I want to say, first of all, Lisa, I, I, I'm an author. I, I'm, I'm a mother of twins. I, uh, my twins are sophomores in college now. So that two eternity part just really, really rings true. Um, dropped the kids or they dropped themselves off, I should say, yeah. in college. And I'm like, okay, well, my job's done here. And I probably have heard from them more since I did when they were living in the bedroom next door to me, right? Yeah. Like, like that mom job never ends. So I'm a mom. And um, for a long time, I was a German teacher. And right about when my kiddos were, well, 12 and a half, I quit my teaching job in the middle of the year and embarked on this strange, crazy idea that I was going to be an author and a life coach and uh, I was going to help other people write their stories and, and I was going to do this thing. And and you were such a key part of that. You, you I met you through our publisher, yeah. um, Wise Inc. It's a beautiful women-owned business in Minneapolis and I met you through there and I will say that being an author is so much more than getting words on the like I have my book here it is isn't it beautiful there it is everybody <laughs> and there in the background you can see Lisa's beautiful There's book mine. yes but the truth is that you know an author can put a book out there and people can take it home and read it in the privacy of their own room it's a whole nother thing to stand up and talk about what does this book mean to me? Why do I feel like this story is important? And not just I'm healing through my stories, but why do other people need to hear my stories? And yeah. you and your your events, you know, I've been walking my own little path over here, but you and I keep sort of crossing paths and you've been such a mentor to me. So it's it's a really big mm -hmm. honor to be Thank part you. of this series. And, and you know, when you mentioned the 2022, no, excuse me, now we're 2022, yeah. 2020. <laughs> 2020, I get it, it's, girl. Oh my gosh, the years keep flying, don't they, Lisa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hosted that event right after some really, really hard things that happened in Minneapolis. Yeah. You, you hosted that event. And um, it wasn't my first experience with you, but it's the one that really stands out because um, I don't think people understand. You, you get, you know, there's so much chatter out there, you know, you mentioned all the socials, right? There's so much chatter out there and so many people who want to offer opinions to your stories. And you said, hey, there are some black women, they're hurting. We're going to give them a platform and the rest of us are going to be quiet. Yeah. And it was so powerful. And 
I met, I know she was already your dear friend, but now she is my dear friend too, because I met I can Stephanie share her. through that. Huh? I can share her. No problem. Oh my gosh. She, she told this story and then she was like, listen, I am not all black women. I'm Stephanie. But if you like me, yeah. reach out. And I was like, I really like I what you. she's saying. And I was able yeah. to connect. And I think that that is, to me, that is the biggest magic about this is you don't have to be best friends with everybody in the room, but you hear other people's stories. It helps you to get clarity around your own. And you look around and you say, and the people in this room, some of these people are my people that yeah. I want to, you don't tell, we don't tell our stories in a vacuum, really, yeah. right? Storytelling is a shared experience and it can be healing and transformative. And, and I want to speak to you, Lisa, that you're always about, it's not just about, here's the hard thing that happened to me and why it was so yeah. bad, which is important, which yeah. is important. And we don't yeah, make you have space to start somewhere. Yeah. We don't make space for that in our society, for the shadow of the story. But yeah. then you are so big on and yeah. what does that make possible? What is that? How does that make you more of who you are? How does that give you strength? And like, that's powerful. That's yeah. powerful, you know? Yeah. So oh, that's what I want. Well, say. you are, you are being so very kind. I, oh. I appreciate, I appreciate all those words. And, you know, this event series, just like all the other work that I do is, is and has always been created for women and really offering a space to practice vulnerability even you know mm -hmm. there, we're so often reminded especially nowadays stepping into that vulnerability and speaking and sharing and mm -hmm. and opening ourselves up so we can be better moms so we can be better leaders so we can be better this better that better versions mm -hmm. of ourselves but at the end of the day, every day is practice, right? And we don't often have places where we can practice without judgment and also lean into each other at the same time. And so that is really what this series is about is, mm -hmm. is how can these women practice vulnerability? Let us watch them step into that, but step into vulnerability with power, right? Mm -hmm. And for these stories to be spread to each other so that we can kind of take pieces from them and learn about somebody different mm -hmm. and maybe learn about ourselves mm -hmm. all while growing and discovering. I mean, it's, it, it is such a beautiful space to really hear and see other women. And, and that's what I love most about these events. And I am super blessed to have you co-host it's so exciting to yeah. have you on the forefront and to be able to share your work and to be able to share your stories with everyone and so i'm excited to hear more about maybe a little teaser of, of how your your story or your experience um in motherhood is going to be introduced in this event yes okay so yeah <laughs> you know and as you're as you're saying this well like so I had this, I, I actually was a pretty big proponent of the topic because I had this version of how I thought motherhood was going to go. Yeah. Growing up in the 80s, which was a time, right? We, yeah. we thought we understood stuff, but there's so much language we didn't have for what our daughters, I have daughters, our sons and our daughters yeah. are going through in today's world. Yeah. I thought... Well, first of all, I have twins and I did not like, I'm not one of those people like, oh, I want twins. I was like, no, I don't want twins. No, you just had twins. I have twins. I, yeah, I do. In fact, um, I had suffered a miscarriage the month before, like on Christmas, I suffered a miscarriage and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be a mom. And then like, you know, the next month I'm pregnant with twins. So like, you know, none of it was the way I planned it. Right. Mm -hmm. And as a teacher, I was not planning to get to give birth on the first day of school, right? Like none of that was how it was supposed to happen. But what I realized is I wanted children that I would like somehow like I would have arrived at some exalted, mature maternal place where I would be able to guide my children flawlessly through all the pitfalls that I went through so that they could become a more perfected version of me, but their own versions, but right. 
And that's not what yeah. happened, right? Like what happened no. is that I fell apart and I was remaking myself as, I mean, that's that's an author's journey in, in particular yeah. is you probably fall apart at some point and that's probably part of the author's journey. So like as my kids are going through, you know, their hardest times, middle school, high school, I'm like falling apart. I'm just like back in high school myself. Like, who am I and what am I doing? And so it really it really gave me the chance to break open all those assumptions that I had mm -hmm. from back in the 80s because the 80s, like I said, were quite a time. There, it was very prescriptive. And the world that we live in today is, is revealing a lot of the shadows that we just hid in yeah. the 80s. You know? So my mm -hmm. children are my teachers as much as, as, much as I am theirs. Yeah. And, and yet... You know, it goes back to something I talk about. You had that event for black women, right? Yeah. And the white women are to listen. And I think that, you know, there's this tendency to go, well, okay, my, I'm not, I'm just going to opt myself out. Right. And not be part of the conversation. And that's not true. As mothers, we still need to be part of the conversation, but it's not this, it's not this all knowing. It's this relating with our children across the generations, the same as when black women or women of color have been like, no, Amy, get your little white butt out there and do your part of the storytelling, please. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not I'm not immune from it. It's just I'm not the position I thought I would hold with my daughters, if that makes sense. Yes, it may. I, yeah, yeah, it makes so much sense. I don't even know what to say. It's I love <laughs> where you guys landed. Um mm -hmm with expectations versus reality, because there are so many levels and layers to that. And what I think is really beautiful about this group is, again, I invite a diverse group of women together. And when I say diverse, I mean, in all ways, right? Mm -hmm. How you're raising your children, mm -hmm. what, um, you know, what ethnic background your children are, mm -hmm. what you know, what ages they are. You have children that are off in college. We have mm -hmm. some women um, in the co-host uh, who are co-hosting who have younger children. So mm -hmm. it's, there are expectations and there mm -hmm. is reality at all these different phases with all these mm -hmm. different experiences and to come together and be able to have this conversation and just let other women feel less alone Yes, is going to be just incredible. I am so excited. I cannot tell you. I am so excited. And so, I have to say this, Lisa, can I just say this? Yes, you know, the, the interesting you talk about the diversity of right. And the thing that's so crazy about storytelling, crazy, wonderful, wild, is that when people come with these very different, different experiences, but they ground themselves so fully in the story, you start seeing yourself in yes. you're like, you're, you start seeing yourself on the universals of their like, yeah, I'm never going to be, you know, I take so much inspiration from your story. The women that I'm partnering with have these incredible, beautiful journeys that they have. And it's like, well, okay, that's not me. You know, none of them was a German teacher either, by the way. Yeah, right? right. But we see no. each other's little, little, the, the commonalities. And it's, it's like the story transcends all that. Mm -hmm. Right. And the differences actually make it more interesting. Yeah. And that's so. where we as humans find connection. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can read it in all the research and I don't care what article you you read or what book you read. At the end of the day, if we're talking to each other and we're sharing intimate details mm -hmm. of our lived experiences mm -hmm. and we're listening and learning, mm -hmm. we're, we're connecting on such a profound level because we're opening our minds. And that's that's how we bridge divides in many, right. many ways. Right. And then we're like getting off topic right now because you and I are so good at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you knew this was going to happen, Lisa. So I know. Why I was should like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. So why we're, we're going to reel this? it back in. Here's why somebody should come to this. Yes. Why should people come to this event? Wait. Because Thursday, September Thursday, 15th. September 15th. What time? 7 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Central Time. time. Mini Women Minneapolis Time. Across right. Time zones in this series. Yes. Right. Because I have never yet once come to something that Lisa offers without connecting with other women, without learning more about myself, without hearing from women that just share something that blows my mind way open. And I chew on it for about two weeks afterwards and it changes everything afterwards because do yourself a favor and get to these things because they are 
They are transformative and I don't say that lightly because you go to these things and you connect with people on a real human level and we need that today. That's what we need more than anything is just to connect with each other. That's why I just adore you. Thank you. Amy is right. And not just for me, um, for all of you out there watching our little reel here, um, the women who are co-hosting this event, Motherhood from Birth to Infinity, are absolutely phenomenal women. And Amy is proof of the women that are showing up in real ways at this event. And mm -hmm. I am completely honored and humbled to have them lead this discussion. So we really do hope that you show up next Thursday, September 15th from 7 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'll put all the crazy links in the notes and all the ways that you can connect with Amy and the ways that you can connect with this platform. And hopefully we will see your beautiful face online next Thursday. Oh, so it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be, be so much fun. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You, we hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.